Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, that does the trick. Oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. You take your joy in this. You take your joy in this. take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the garden district. Doodle. Well, there it goes. I hope I've got every... I can't believe I went through all of that just to cross a bridge and go see Sally. Well, Arthur, maybe you shouldn't have been such an ass. Maybe you should have said, Oh, yes, Sally, do talk to your friend the General for me. What a kind thing to offer. Why does God punish me for all my mistakes and let everyone else run free? Telling the truth around here, poor sod. can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links, then? <laughs> Pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days and the council workers will have this all sorted. I'll need to be dressed like a worker in there. If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me. Would you like this?
Venus is a choice. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Simon says, step on two platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says. Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. <laughs> Fabulous! Simon says, step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. That bridge to the parade, there's just one more bridge and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that, and I'm f finally out of Wellington Wells. I did think I used to run a hundred meters. Just uh, watching the day go by.
the... That's them! They're... Bloody downer! Mercy! Give up, and I won't smash your face! Jesus. Oh my god. Do we really have to do this? Save a bit for the next minute. I can't keep doing this.
some. There's the guilty bugger. <laughs> Say goodnight. You're only making it harder. This up. You need a letter of transit. And an old friend. Oh, Sally. Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh, sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really going to do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter? Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I'd really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. I'm not crazy, but I am always a little extra complicated. complicated. You used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You were always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just... go. Oh, I meant to say... cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us glass. He keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful.
I don't think I've been in Hayworth Lab since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but, but uh, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? <laughs> Have you got your press pass? No, I uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do Sorry, to get in the sir. newspaper. Maybe been... So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Oak Corral. See if she's got a spare press pass. office. That was fun, being a reporter. Receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? We just have to pray she will. A lady can't go without coffee these days. It's unthinkable. Get away from there, or I'm calling a police. Your joy! Let's see if I can get Mrs. Oliphant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Old place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go when you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Verloc make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. That were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. If someone would just have a bloody wedding, then I could get a cup of coffee. 
Maybe I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really van, I've a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. Stand tea. I must have coffee. I've forgotten about the headmistresses. They get so cross if you're not on joy. You right. You can take your joy. How in long can this go on? That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. Epistemology. Now, you'll help me to know that. <laughs> oh. Just stay in a rage mater. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. By all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo! Turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Oh, what on earth? Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. She recover in a few days. No, I will not keep my voice. 
voice down. I am a law-abiding citizen. I am not upset. I'm happy as a clam. You have no right to touch me. I'm a reporter. You have no right to touch me. You know perfectly well I've taken my joy. You can't take me away. I'm not sick or unhappy. Help! Police! Help! Someone stop them! Where are they taking her? Why did they take her? She sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? About what? Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires have to be invited in. Downer! That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Did you think I wouldn't know you were here? We're friends of Gemma! Well, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. If I read it top to bottom, then right to left. The locks looking for a permanent solution. Oh, well, that's not ominous at all. Solution to what? I guess I'd better go see what's going on on this motelline regulation unit. Maybe the answer's there. Your joy immediately. Hey, where do you think you're going? This is a municipal work site. 
And you're not a municipal worker, are you? Huh? So clear off. you actually out on the elevator. I'll need to find a way to turn the juice back on. Executed. Now make sure there isn't a short circuit before. <laughs> fucking apprentices. They never fucking listen. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. And yet another note about her joy. Jamal was really into something, wasn't she? I've always wanted to drive one of those things. They sort of look like tea kettles, don't they? How have I not noticed that? supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board.
adjusting the formula. New materials. Well, that sounds encouraging. And when people sound encouraging in Wellington Wells, something terrible is usually happening. Rather unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. the slowest roller coaster I've ever been on. So there's an exit door here, I think, but I'm going to have to turn on some power switches. Is that how the bobbies get around? I wonder if they ever get stuck. That could get awkward. I'm just 
sort of think this place is about to explode. I'm not getting past those jets without getting poached like an egg. Can I turn them off? Okay, that's one. Two more, I think. Oh, I'd love to stay here, but I can't. Where's the door? One more. Bloody door now, I hope. Yo! 
You're going to run me down with that thing! Not if you run fast enough, you rotten fool! Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realize he was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there. Tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh. Look, it's time for my tea break. Ta-ra! This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. That's all. She'll come back with the coffee. We just have to pray she will. Terribly busy. What is it? Gemma's been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a popper. Oh my goodness. Why? 
she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. Uh, great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go.